Welcome to our monthly water ceremony and live prayer to water crystal photography experiment series for 2024. And this is our fourth year and today is March 11th. And today we are imprinting the water sample together with our prayers for peace. And then we'll be freezing the water sample. And then on March 22nd, in celebration of World Water Day, we will share the water crystal photography results. Hello everyone, I'm Lindsay Fox, water researcher, international hotto instructor, and founder at Water Peace Project. And our mission is to inspire and educate the importance of water for peace. And we founded Water Peace Project in the loving memory of Dr. Masaru Emoto. And Dr. Emoto's life mission was dedicating and teaching the power of consciousness. And he was a true pioneer in demonstrating the water memory theory. And Dr. Emoto was actually a phenomenological researcher. And that's basically documenting what you're observing. And he did that with his water crystal photography technology. And we're basically exploring the power of human consciousness and how we're related to water on a deep level. And Dr. Emoto believed that water holds all the answers and that through the power of love and gratitude, we could begin to live in peace and harmony. So I'm super excited and grateful that today during our ceremony, we're conducting this special Emoto style prayer to water crystal photography experiment. And we're doing this in the lab at Office Masaru Emoto in Tokyo, Japan. And we'll be doing four for the year. Well, so today, March 11th, on April 11th, July 11th, and again on September 11th. And then each month after that on the 22nd, we'll share the results. So our hope in conducting these water crystal experiments online is so that we could begin to experience peace and healing through understanding water's true nature and learning about the power of our consciousness and how our hado or our vibrations are creating our reality and we essentially can create peace or war with our thoughts so our true power is in our resonance and so that's why we're coming together every month on the 11th when we begin to align and synchronize in the vibrations of love and gratitude then we could become coherent and resonant. So these water crystal experiments demonstrate that if our prayers and our intentions are pure while using water as a medium, a multi-dimensional power can take place for purification and for healing. So, and I really believe that when you witness water crystal photography, and you can see how water has a natural ability to record, store, and transmit all wave information, there becomes a new found hope and respect for water that deeply resonates within your heart and hopefully inspiring a practice where you can respect, protect, and love all water and not just on World Water Day, but every day. And of course, for the purpose of peace with inside of you and around you and rippling out beyond. So, and we invite each of you by joining us. You can take the Water for Peace pledge at waterpeaceproject.org. And that's where you have daily mindfulness and vow to water to love and protect and respect water every day so today i am super grateful to be joined by our two advisors they're also both international hotto instructors we were fortunate to work alongside dr emoto together supporting his global peace tours and he actually visited more than, I believe, 30 countries spreading messages of water around the world. And he's inspired and united global hearts and minds in cultivating peace through water. 
And like water, Dr. Emoto is also one of the world's greatest teachers. So joining us to conduct these water crystal experiments at Office Masaru Emoto in Tokyo, Japan, please welcome Hiro Emoto. Hiro is Dr. Emoto's son and he carries on his father's legacies at IHM and Office Master Emoto. And Dr. Emoto believed that all people should learn that we reflect ourselves in water and in our surroundings. And that by having an attitude of love and gratitude that it can change us and change the entire world into a more sustainable and beautiful place for everyone to live in peace and harmony. So as always, Hero, love and gratitude for joining us again to conduct the series of Water Crystal Experiment for 2024. Thank you and welcome. Thank you, Lindsay. I'm so happy to be here again and uh, thank you for having me. And, uh, you know, today is a special day for Japanese because 13 years ago, we had a big tsunami, earthquake and tsunami and victimized a million of people. And uh, the, since then, uh, our country has really changed. And so, you know, the water really can be sometimes uh, scary, uh, but uh, we have to really coexist with the water. So, you know, we have to respect the water. We have to pray for water, you know, so it's a uh, very special occasion today to do this water ceremony together with you and you can see how our prayer can change the water crystal structures so thanks so much for having me oh, thank you so much and it was actually on that day march 11th 2011 that your father had asked us and the world to dedicate the 11th of every month as a day that we come together and pray for world peace. So I'm really glad that we can do that today. And also that we're conducting this water crystal experiment. So today we also have my Hado sister, Dr. Kamanga Andra Hanetti. And Kamanga is also certified in water crystal photography and she is the founder at Calm. Hi Kamanga, thank you. Welcome. Thank you, Lancy. Thank you, Hiroshima. It's always really great to be here together with you both. And uh, you know, we've been doing these ceremonies together for 13 years. And um, it's also a special day for me personally because it's my father's birthday today, March 11. He's 72 years. Uh, so it's a very special way to start this with the prayer ceremony in March for me. So thank you for including me because I'm here because of my mom and dad doing all this movement together. And they are such an inspiration in my life for what I'm doing. So yeah, thank you for having me. Thank you so much, Kamanga. And I'm really glad that we can be here together. And I was just saying this the other day, but I feel like, you know, Last year, we were dealing with the war and this year again, you know, it's like, I feel like we're in the same place um, with the war still happening. And as it continues today and additional wars breaking out and each one's worse than the next. And so every day there is a need for peace grows stronger and stronger. And it's truly beyond devastating to humanity and I feel like the crucial point is how peace really begins within ourselves and that we're creating this world with our thoughts and our intentions so this is the phenomenal power of our consciousness and today to demonstrate this phenomenon uh, we're conducting this live remote prayer to water crystal experiment where together we'll direct our sincere prayers of love and gratitude to the same water sample at the same exact time and we have two water samples for this experiment one sample is sitting on hero's desk and after the prayer ceremony it'll be frozen and then we'll photograph it to see the water crystals 
And the second sample is only viewable from the computer. So if you join the live experiment pinned in the chat at aquasci.com. And if it's your first time joining, you just create a free account. And once you join the live experiment, you'll see both water samples. And the second sample is being measured in the lab uh, in Toronto, Canada. And that's being measured for any subtle changes taking place. So together we're exploring the power of group consciousness through water for the purpose of peace and to energetically guide our intentions each month. We just began doing an Oracle card reading using essential oils as allies for transformation. And this we're doing on the first of every month and we will pull a card and read the transmission from the plant medicine to guide our intentions for the month. And so this month we pulled the card Juniper Berry and Juniper Berry is the detoxifier. So I was saying, I know that Dr. Emoto would say, as always, it's no coincidence because, you know, we're celebrating World Water Day and water is also known for its purification properties. So before I begin the water ceremony, I'd like to open the circle to Hiro and Kamanga to touch on the importance of purity and cultivating peace and in our thoughts and how we're creating our world with our thoughts, especially when we have World Water Day coming up. And Hiro, if you could share even also how water shows us the quality of information that it receives because, you know, we're mostly made of water. So choosing our thoughts and our words obviously is really important when we understand how water responds to our vibrations, right? So. Well, Dr. Emoto always say, you know, we are water. So it's so important to strongly think, always think that uh, we are water. Uh, for example, when we put the water any place in the same jar, you know, it's still H2O. There's no problem. Water from Israel, from the US, water from Africa, you know, what anywhere water come together and still the same H2O. But uh, if you put it in a human world, it's very difficult because you know, sometimes people discriminate and criticize just because something is different. So if we think that we are water, we can respect everyone. So that's something we can learn from water. And we have to, we should think that we are water. And Dr. Emoto said that all conflicts start from, you know, disorder of language, disorder of words. Uh, it's also, uh, you know, the disturbance of vibration. Um, so the bad words creates a health disorder, then social disorder, then nat national disorder, then world disorder. So if everyone in the world using uh, beautiful words, world surely become a beautiful world because the water uh, showed us uh, this. So um, also uh, in terms of, uh, you know, thoughts and as Dr. Emoto would say, to have a thought of love and gratitude is very important. Not just the love, not just the gratitude, but, uh, you know, this combination, this combination of uh, uh, ultimate uh, in yang uh, energy. Love alone can cause a problem sometimes uh, if the love is too strong, <laughs> you know, that could cause a problem. So the you know important thing is the uh, love and gratitude. When when we receive love and we receive it with the gratitude, then we change that the gratitude into love and then give it to other person. Then you know that will circulate. Well, this teaching always uh, you know uh, taught at the Hado school, but uh, I think it's really really important to have a uh, uh, thought of love and gratitude always. And, uh, you know, make action uh, based on uh, love and gratitude. Yeah, because uh, the 
energy of love and gratitude created the most beautiful water crystal uh, you know as we proved and so that's the uh, best energy so the world become uh, beautiful with that energy so i think uh, you know these things are very important to create a harmonious world and uh, you know we would like to uh, teach uh, as many people as possible Hiro, thank you for sharing that. And those were really important lessons, you know, especially the yin yang of love and gratitude that your father teaches. And uh, also, you know, we've been doing the Bryce experiment and it's incredible. We've been doing, I've been doing it with Jody Sellers and we've been sharing it. I think we're in our second year with the same Bryce experiment. and. It's incredible to see the results. And I feel like water crystals, you know, have the same thing with the rice is really drastic because you know, one is rotting and one looks preserved. So, you know, it's really important to see these things because it is a powerful reminder of how our thoughts are creating our world and, you know, how important it is to have bring more love and gratitude uh, into our daily practice, especially if we want to live in peace and harmony. And Kamunga is certified in water crystal photography and she specializes in water and mindfulness and has her PhD on how water affects the mind. And Kamunga, perhaps you can share a little bit and touch on that also and how we can be mindfulness and setting our intentions and how we're creating our world with our minds. So um, what I'm finding out with my recent work is that uh, sometimes in the, the circumstances that we are talking about, circumstances of uh, being in very severe war, um, and when you're going through certain circumstances such as such, the gratitude plays a huge role. Um, because the immediate thing begins to diminish a sense of love for ourselves, sense of love for each other with the, with the conflict. And then it's, it's something a little bit more difficult to cultivate than cultivating gratitude because gratitude we can try and uh, cultivate through little, little things we have in our daily lives. So this research into the cultivation of gratitude in, mind, in, the, in the field of mindfulness that shows that the gratitude can be a link towards cultivating love when there's love is missing in a certain you know, person's life or if they feel less loved, for example. But by you know, encouraging them to feel gratitude for little, little things in their life, the love can actually again start flowing in the heart um, because I completely agree with what Hiro Chan said this imbalance can cause us disharmony in the mind and can go towards states like depression and anxiety disorders as a result so cultivating this sense of gratitude can lead towards cultivating love towards oneself first and then that love can spread to people around us this is, I think, something really important. And, you know, like I said, actually, it's actually my father's birthday today, my mom's birthday on 27th of March. So it's important to find every day something that we are thankful for, something little. When, as soon as we wake up, what do I feel thankful for? Because that first thought or the how we wake up matters, a ripple effect into how we act during the day what we say during the day, like what Hiro-chan said about the words. So our mind is what cultivate our thinking pattern and we have a choice if we want to cultivate a positive ripple effect in towards our day or a negative ripple effect towards our day. So gratefulness can be a practice where we balance our, our energy between love and gratitude. Yeah, just wanted to share that. I love that you said that and, you know, 
you were saying what you were saying was so similar to what Hiro was saying. You know, Dr. Emoto would say how one love plus two gratitudes basically, you know, creating this ripple effect. And uh, you were saying how if you were without the love, uh, the gratitude would create that kind of a reciprocal thing also. And I love that. This, this never gets old for me because all that love and gratitude that we're cultivating and doing these ceremonies and coming together is reflected right back to ourselves because we reflect ourselves in water and our surroundings. Water is the mirror that has the ability to show us what we cannot see. It's the blueprint for our reality, which can change with a single positive thought. And all it takes is faith if you're open to it. So with that in mind, let's begin the water ceremony. And I'll begin by sounding the crystal bowl. Kamunga will open the water ceremony with the water blessing. The hero will lead the grand invocation and we will also chant the Ho'oponopono prayer together. So you can follow along by repeating after. And during the ceremony, let's continue to direct our sincere feelings of love and gratitude to the water. So we'll begin now. So in honor of our very special world war today and knowing water will carry our prayers for peace to the rest of the world, especially for the parts of the world that are very much in need at the moment, uh, we, we are going to dedicate these prayers to cultivating world peace. And may the, the world be free from suffering and free from causes of suffering, free from war free from poverty, free from natural disasters, and may our resonant prayer be carried throughout the world to bring peace and harmony to all. So to begin the water ceremony, I'm going to recite the, the water prayer. So please repeat after me. Connecting with the heart, with the sincere feeling of love and gratitude in our hearts, let's begin the prayer. We pray for healing blessings from the rain. We pray for healing blessings. We pray for healing blessings from the rain. We pray for healing blessings from the waterfalls. We pray for healing blessings from the waterfalls. We pray for healing blessings from our rivers. We pray for healing blessings from the rivers. We pray for healing blessings from our mother ocean. We pray for healing blessings from the mother ocean. We pray that all waters, so pure and sacred. We pray that all our waters, so pure and sacred. We pray that their blessings heal our mind and our body. We pray that their blessings heal our mind and our body. We pray that their blessings heal our Mother Earth. Pray. We pray that their blessings heal our Mother Earth. Through our pure intention, of love and gratitude to our waters. Through our pure intention of love and gratitude to our waters. We pray that the water show us the right mindful path to live in peace and harmony. We pray that the water show us right mindful path to live in peace and Harmony. Mm. 
now I uh, chant uh, grand invocation. So this invocation was created by the teacher of uh, Dr. Moto, namely uh, Dr. Shioya. He was a uh, uh, teacher of Kototama, the words of spirits. He was also a medical doctor. And uh, this uh, grand invocation is all about uh, uh, grand harmony. The meaning of grand invocation is the eternal power of the universe has gathered itself to create the world of true and grand harmony. So that's English sentence. But I'm going to chant this in original language, Japanese, uh, for three times. Uh, so uh, please repeat after me. Uchu no Mugen no Chikaraga Kori Kote Chikaraga Kori Kote Makoto no Daiwa no Makoto no Daiwa no Mio ga Nari Natta Mio ga Nari Natta Uchu no Mugen no Uchu no Chikara ga Kori Kote Chikara ga Kori Kote Makoto no Daiwa no Makoto no Daiwa no Mio ga Nari Natta Mio ga Nari Natta Uchu no Mugen no Uchu no Mugen no Chikara ga Kori Kote Chikara ga Kori Kote Makoto no Daiwa no Makoto no Daiwa no Mio ga Nari Natta Mio ga Nari Natta Thank you. chant the Ho'oponopono prayer and this is also a prayer that Dr. Mo used at every water ceremony. It's a Hawaiian healing prayer for reconciliation and so we're going to chant it three times also and you can follow along by repeating after. Water, I am sorry. Water. Water. Sorry. I'm sorry. Water, please forgive me. Water, please forgive me. Water, I thank you. Water, I thank you. Water, I love you. Water, I love you. Water, I am sorry. Water. I'm sorry. Water, please forgive me. Water, please forgive me. Water, I thank you. Water, I thank you. Water, I love you. Water, I love you. Water, I am sorry. Water, I'm sorry. Water, please forgive me. Water, please forgive me. Water, I thank you. Water, thank you. Water, I love you. Water, I love you.
So this concludes our water ceremony. Please take these blessings with you wherever you go, as you yourself are water. So we are all water and we can carry these blessings wherever we go with us. And you have the natural ability, the potential to generate your deep feeling of this love and gratitude that we've been cultivating throughout the ceremony for world peace and health. So thank you everyone for joining and let me pass over to me. Thank you and I love you Kumanga and Hero. And as always, I'm always overflowing with love and gratitude when we come together. And thank you for your support at Water Peace Project and, and everyone joining in who joined in our experiments. So, and if anyone wants to learn more about Kubunga and her amazing work at Calm, you can go to calmmindfulness.org and I'll put the link in the chat for you there. And also love and thanks Hiro for joining us to conduct these water crystal experiments. Everyone please join us again on March 22nd, which is World Water Day. And that's when we're gonna share the water crystal photography results from today's session where we sent our love and gratitude to the water. And I'm always grateful to see the results. It's, you know, it touches my heart so deeply. And Hero, thank you for your resonance and your support, and especially for carrying on your father's work. And if anybody's interested in learning more, and if you wanna become a Hado instructor, we have the 35th Hado School happening on May 10th, 11th, 12th and also the World Water Festival on September 21st and 22nd. So I'll put the link in the chat for you. Thank you so much, Hiro. Thank you, Lindsay and Kumita. And uh, yeah, for mentioning events that uh, we are organizing. And, uh, you know, uh, well, I would like to thank you for uh, continuing this uh, water ceremony. And uh, since March in 2011. That's really amazing. It's been, <laughs> yeah, um, you know, so long and uh, I still continue to do this with, with the pure heart. That's amazing. And, uh, you know, I'm sure my, my father would be happy about this. And uh, this is very, not, it's not easy to continue this, but uh, for sure, the uh, uh, more people uh, know about this uh, importance of, uh, the prayer for water and uh, you know the more the world become uh, beautiful so this is very important thing and uh, so uh, yeah uh, speaking about uh, Hado Instructor School that uh, we organize uh, from uh, May 10th uh, we are going to do this Hado School here in uh, Tokyo our office uh, because uh, everyone can experience how to uh, observe uh, water crystal photography and uh, you know not only that uh, we teach you the, the principle of Hado you know Hado theory that uh, Dr. Moto has been uh, telling people and uh, it's so important to know about this uh, at this time I think uh, because uh, there are a uh, lot more things going on in the visible world down three-dimensional world and we have to really focus on that world uh, without that uh, we can uh, progress and uh, you know if you always think about matters if you always think about you know three-dimensional thing and uh, you cannot uh, really get the whole picture of it and uh, so important uh, to know about it you know we have a three dates and uh, one day for uh, about water uh, you know science of water and the water crystal photography and uh, now we are uh, have a, a theory of a vortex as well and on the second day it's about the huddle vibration uh, so uh, you will know uh, the huddle theory and latest uh, technology and uh, and uh, on the third day and uh, we have a, a prayer it's about consciousness we have a meditation we have prayer ceremony uh, experienced about prayer so um, 
you know, these three days uh, really, really fun and uh, I think meaningful uh, for you to learn uh, for your life. And uh, so, yeah, anyone can attend and we can also, uh, you know, have a, a you know, a nice party, dinner party with uh, uh, delicious food and sake and uh, singing together and you know those those things uh, dr emoto uh, really really uh, cherish and <laughs> so but anyway uh, it's so nice because uh, we have uh, many people coming from different countries you know uh, gathered and uh, with the same intention with the same priority and so even though you don't speak the same language but uh, we become like family uh, you know on the third day and uh, so i think that's uh, uh, the field to uh, practice the you know uh, world peace, uh, you know, positive magnetic resonance. So um, we like to expand it to, you know, the world and then the, uh, looking for how to instructors, you know, to work together uh, for the peace, like Lindsay and Kumi-chan. And so, yeah, um, please uh, check our website. We have the school uh, in May and also uh, in uh, November. Uh, so then... It's amazing. Uh, the next one would be the 35 and uh, 36 because, uh, you know, Dr. Moto was uh, at the Hado school until 18. <laughs> so after that, we have done, you know, doing this without him. But uh, yeah, uh, we're looking for uh, forward uh, this uh, Hado school. So if you're interested, uh, please check. And also, uh, we have a uh, uh, World Water Festival event. Um, this is uh, a different event uh, from Hado School. And we started this event in year 2021. You know, that was uh, still during the, uh, you know, Corona pandemic. And that's the time we really wanted to do something, you know, the event to connect, uh, you know, uh, the people with the people each other and also to connect with the nature and uh, because that time was everybody were isolated and there no event and festival you know for Japan is so important we've been doing this you know in the ancient time and uh, if you think about the purpose of festival it's a prayer you know it's a prayer for God it's a prayer for nature pray, prayer for no disease prayer for like harvest and you know it's about prayer but a uh, great thing about festival is fun as well <laughs> so you know we like to uh, make this uh, uh, festival uh, you know for the festival for all humankind that's my goal uh, because uh, is it a nice uh, to come together uh, celebrate for the you know uh, the joy of our life together uh, in the address of you know the race and religion and uh you know pray as a one heart um but we can do this through water because we are all water that's why we name it world water festival so this is for everyone this is for uh you know human being so that's why uh i would like to um i would like as many people as you know join this event and uh, this year, we're going to do this event on uh, Peace Day, September 21st and 22nd. And, uh, you know, the last year uh, we did it and uh, we have uh, like 2,000 people came and 8,000 people joined online. And uh, this uh, time, uh, I think it's going to be bigger. And uh, we're looking for, you know, people to do this event at different locations in the world. You know, if we can do that together, connect and, you know, do this together, it's going to be more powerful because of, you know, collective consciousness become really big. And then if that becomes really big and, you know, and great thing will happen for sure. So, uh, you know, you, you can uh, check our website and uh, information in English. And uh, so, uh, yeah, if you could... Uh, um, you know, pay attention to this event, that would be great because uh, this is really important uh, as well. So, thank you. <laughs> and 
Thank you, Hero. And I will put those links in the chat for Hano School and for the World Water Festival. And I mean, I truly cherish the times that I went uh, and the friendships that I made at Hano School. In fact, that's how Kamunga and I met. I think it was the 13th um, International Hano School, I think. It's right? right? No, it was Kumamoto. Oh, oh, that was the and first time. Oh, okay. There was Scotland, and then there was Merida, Mexico. And I think I attended every auto school until he departed, actually. I mean, like I said before, it it never gets old for me. And even going to five auto schools and some of the lessons were the same, except I just had, you know, a better understanding of what I was learning or I was going further down the rabbit hole. And especially when it comes to dimensions, actually, you know, I had no idea about any of that. And so learning that, you know, ex expanded my consciousness, you know, uh, unexpectedly in a way that I just didn't, I wasn't expecting that when I was going to Hato school. So, and learning those things, I feel like, you know, provided me anyway, with a lot of peace and understanding some things and also questioning a lot of things. So it's uh, fascinating, truly, uh, to learn that stuff. And so I do cherish those times together and I continue to cherish our times together. So thank you, love and gratitude also to everyone joining online to conduct these water crystal experiments. And please stay tuned tomorrow, 11 a.m. begins our eight day water meditation and consciousness experiment from March 11 through March 19th. And be sure to join us again on March 22nd, which is World Water Day. And we will have the live stream water crystal results. And that will begin at 11 a.m. We'll review the ceremony and then share the water crystal results. And we close our month every month with the full moon meditation and consciousness experiment on March 23rd at 6 a.m. guided Jeanette Seely and Melodies of Our Plants. And please join us again next month for our Earth Day celebration. We began on April 1st with our Oracle reading, and then on April 11th, we'll be back with our next water crystal experiment. So, and we'll be celebrating Earth Day next month too. So we'll also be conducting another prayer to water crystal experiment. And it's sponsored by Water Peace Project and everything is free and anyone can participate. All it takes is your sincere heart. So to learn more about our peace partners or participate in our monthly water ceremonies or live consciousness experiments or download our published research or a free children's book PDF, please visit us at waterpeaceproject.org. Love and thanks. For everyone joining us today in resonance to pay our respect to water today and on world water day and every day thank you and we love you thank you thank you, thank you.